Hello and welcome to yet another episode of an English Guy Watching Racing. I'm the English Guy, I'm Nick. Thank you so much for watching and get myself comfortable whilst we're kicking things off. <laughs> and in this episode we're going to be reviewing the latest edition of Impact Wrestling which took place on the <coughs> sorry, 9th of February 2021. So, with that being said, let's jump right into it. Opening match was a six-man tag match with Josh Alexander, Suicide and Trey Miguel versus William, oh, let's see, Tell it right. So again, eight man tag match. <laughs> Josh Alexander, Suicide, Trey Miguel, and Willie Mack versus Blake, Christian, Ace Austin, Davari, and Chris Bay. Now, this is a great way to open the show. And this was a preview of this Saturday's <coughs> Impact um, Championship match. So, uh, Impact match, which is all six men, and it's called a Triple Threat Revolver Gauntlet match. So, basically, it's a Triple Threat match at all times, but it's a gauntlet match. So one person's eliminated, someone else comes in. So very unusual situation. One I don't think I've ever seen before, but then again, Impact Wrestling are known for doing these kind of things. So this was a little preview. And I won't lie to you, this match was absolutely superb. I thought this was an excellent way to open the show. And <clears throat> the start of the show in this match, I think I've got to give that to all of them, in all seriousness, because there was not one weak link in the whole match. Everybody got a chance to shine. And it was really good to see Blake Christian back in the back wrestling because he's really, really good. And I think if they keep bringing him in, he could really shine in the next division. And I will say also, it's very unusual to see Josh Alexander part of this. Now, I'm not saying that in a bad way at all. I think Josh Alexander is one of the best wrestlers Impact has. And he's a fantastic wrestler, full stop. The fact he's in the next division just shows, as usual, there is no limits. The next division, there's no weight limits, it's just no limits, as they say. Good to see him part of this. And this was, as I said, an excellent match. Every single person got a chance to show what they can do. But I think this really told the story of what this weekend could be. It's going to be action packed from start to finish, I think. And as I said, a superb way to open, open in play this week. It was an absolutely superb match. Everyone was really, really good. And great to see Trey Miguel back in the ring, as I said before. One of my favorite, <clears throat> part of my favorite. He's no longer part of the Rascals. Obviously, Rascals, the other two, got to the NXT. But this was a cracking six-man opening match, eight-man eight -man tag match. I'll get it right, I'll get it right. <laughs> but very, very good way to open the show. Next match was another very good match between Kimberly and the returning ODB. Now, of course, ODB returned last week to Impact Wrestling. And for the first time ever, I've seen Kimberly and ODB ever match anywhere. And this was a good, good, good match. Um, the Knockouts division at the minute is one of the highlights of Impact Wrestling. And that's to put on above other highlights that they're putting together. It's just really good. This was another great example of what the knockout division is all about. ODB perhaps the most unorthodox and unusual knockout you've ever seen. If you've ever seen ODB in the past, you know what I'm talking about. She's one of the most bizarre competitors, but also one of the most entertaining. It's hard not to like her against Kimberly, a woman who I've seen wrestle many, many times. Seriously, one of my favorite female wrestlers in the world. And she's such a good wrestler. I really do like what she brought to this match as well. Trying to match up ODB. I'm not going to go into detail. Because I want to keep this as clean as possible. Because <laughs> ODB... <clears throat> if, you, if you know who that is, you know what it stands for. But this was a great, great match for the Knockout Division. And set up for a six-woman tag match. So, sorry, knockout, sorry, six Knockouts tag match this weekend. No surrender. Because as you'd expect... Kimberly had done it, Leona Perazzo, and Susan is coming into ringside. And of course, last week they had a bit of an altercation with Jazz and Jordan Grace. <coughs> and of course, ODB had an outside influence put on her. Kimberly got the roll up and a surprise win. I did not see this coming. It was a really, really good victory and also a very, very good match. This was what the Knockouts Division could produce. Two, one of the most unorthodox and unusual wrestlers that Knockouts Division has against one of the best wrestlers they have. So, I'm going to give it a so I'm going to give it a thumbs up now. <laughs> and I'm going to give one for the first match too, so there you go. <laughs> okay, next match was Kira Hogan versus Nevaeh. Now, of course, continuing on the feud with Havoc and Nevaeh against um, Tasha Steels and Kira Hogan. This has been a very entertaining feud to watch, you know, seriously, because the Knockouts Tag Team Division hasn't got that many female tag teams at the moment but of course that can change obviously in the future i think this was a good match too and another good advertisement for knockout division and 
Of course, after the win for Tasha Steels and Kira Hogan, winning the tag team titles, I thought they would get a rematch, and it is a rematch happening this weekend. And of course, it's going to be Kira Hogan and Tasha Steels defending the titles against Havoc Kendabar in a no disqualification match, which you know makes sense after the ending of this match when Kira, Tasha Steels interfered on Kira Hogan's behalf, and the referee saw it plain as day. <laughs> gave, Tasha Steels gave Havoc, sorry, Nevaeh, the code breaker. I'm going to call it a code breaker. That's best what people know it as. And of course, right in front of the referee's eyes. And this was exactly what the match needed to happen because after the antics between both teams, I thought this finish made perfect sense. And to see what they're going to be doing on Saturday with no DQ match, it's going to be entertaining to see because is there a more, uh, I mean, fearsome match, shall we say, tag team as Havoc and Nevaeh? No, because they're both so good. Tasha Steels and <coughs> Kira Hogan are one of my favourite tag teams in wrestling right now. I think they're so good. And this proved what they can do in knockout division. Good match, but of course this weekend is going to be a sore one. So I'm, looking forward, I'm actually looking forward to that. I'm going. Next match was Black Taurus versus Caleb with a K. Now, it's been an unusual situation, but I will say this. and I definitely did not see Black Taurus appearing in Impact Wrestling at this time. If you know who Black Taurus is, he's a luchador from AAA and a world-renowned luchador. He's probably one of the most popular ones there. His mask is... Black Taurus, you can imagine what his mask looks like. It is absolutely spectacular. And he's a powerhouse. And he's a, and he's a powerhouse, too. So, but he can move like a cruiserweight. He's so good. <clears throat> he gets K with a K. Now, this was to do with uh, XXL. Tenny on Dashwood and K with a K. How many issues, shall we say... With the K, who is obviously Crazy Steve and Rosemary. The K came out and said, We have an opponent, but K did with the K, who wanted a match. He wanted a match. Out comes back to Black Taurus. I said, No one saw this coming. Even I didn't see this coming. But it's like I said, you see things like this in wrestling, you like to see it. And Black Taurus's uh, finishing move is a very unique, I would say, a spinning fisherman suplex. And something I've never seen before, but Something great. It was a short match, but it's the kind of match to say Black Taurus is here. And I want to see more of it. So it's more stuff like this, please. More stuff like this. Next match was Big Guns versus the Good Brothers for the Impact World Tag Team Championships. Now, <clears throat> obviously, being a fan of both teams, I think both teams are superb. <clears throat> I was expecting a good match, and boy, did I get it. This was a very, very good match between two superb tag teams. And... <clears throat> One side, you've got one of the most revered tag team wrestlers in Impact Wrestling history, but never really a full tag team all the time in Crystal. Sorry, Chris Saban. <laughs> James Saban and Chris Storm, that. Nah. <laughs> James Storm and Chris Saban, obviously. <clears throat> Beer Money, one of the most revered tag teams of all time in Impact Wrestling. Mostly Machine Guns, of course, again, one of the most revered tag teams in Impact Wrestling history. And... When you put those two together, you're just going to get chemistry, and you get it with Chris Saban and James Storm. You really do against the Good Brothers, who are well. It's the Good Brothers. What else do you need to say? Except one of the best tag teams in the last ten years, and a very good main event. And I honestly saw the finish coming because <coughs> those who know Private Party of AEW are the number one contenders for the AEW Tag Team Championship. Now they were there. They got involved. And a big little ploy by Money Matt Hardy and to get them all and try to get them, you know, all of them thrown out and angry at each other, you know, get mad so private party can the win. Scott the comes in and says, No, 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 we're gonna we're gonna have a little bit of a triple threat tag team match. So in this on this Saturday, it will be Beer Money. So I'll say Beer City. We'll call it Beer City. I can't remember what actually tag team of Chris Saban doing tour was called, but Storm and Saban versus Private Party versus the Good Brothers for the AEW, so Impact World Tag Team Titles, triple threat match, so it's going to be quite interesting pay-per-view this weekend, actually to be honest, I'm looking forward to the show itself, I think it's going to be very, very good, and that topped off a very, very good episode of Impact this week, to be honest, I really enjoyed it, and Impact this year have been great, and the way they've been building things up, building things up, really does show all gears forward, all gears pump, 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 pumping, all gears pumping, 
all the way, all the way forward into this weekend's pay per view. It's going to be a good pay per view, I think. I'm looking forward to it. And to top off a very good episode of Impact, that is it for this. Thank you so much for watching again. I'll see you all next time. So until then, thumbs up for you. <laughs> so take care.